this team is the team. Five seniors in the starting lineup, all of them with championship experience. Well, like where they left off last season, six matches, they haven't dropped one set. This might be one of their toughest challenges so far against the USC team. I mean, is this an amazing environment for volleyball? I mean, this is as cool as it gets. In the 20s now, they have to connect on every set. That's a connection right there. <laughs> well, the Beach are in jeopardy here of dropping a set. Could this be the first bit of adversity for Long Beach State? Zuniga looking to a motto. This is where they can steal a set here and give Long Beach State their first set loss. Coach, um, this is obviously you guys dropped your first set today of the season. Do you do you feel like there's a sense of relief on the team? Like it's over now, we could just continue to play? No, I just don't think that matters to them. I think they want to win every point and every set. How did USC challenge you in that match? They served a lot tougher than we expected. We talk about it a lot during film, like uh, if I start seeing something, I'll make a read, and then I might commit to that read. But honestly, when I'm telling myself, hey, I need to slow down, take a breath, just relax. And the biggest thing that comes from that is like going from jump serve receive to jump float receive. And the difference between those two is like, one, it's so like, you gotta be so mechanical. And then for jump float, you gotta be like, you have to move your feet so much and not be tight. You have to be a little bit loose. They targeted me a little bit with their jump floats, and Alan kind of just, hey, you know, they're targeting you right now, you just gotta free yourself up, you know, either commit to your hands or take your step up. That was pretty much it, you know, identifying that, hey, if they are gonna start targeting, you know, don't make it easy for them. That's what Alan exactly said in the match. You know, once we kind of got settled down after the third set, we kind of just started to relax again, you know, played our game from a receiving line, we kind of just handled it like it was every day in our gym. Coming off of the USC match, what is going to help you moving forward? Personally, making sure that I myself is fully prepped, as well as the rest of my team, or at least the pastors, you know, Louie and TJ, as well as Kyle. We bring in Kyle a lot. I also have a uh, you know, great little over behind me right now, Grant. He's with me every day watching film at 7.15. You know, we kind of set a weekly goal, come in with the coaches on Monday and say, hey, this is the things I want to work on hold us accountable to the end of the week and then we kind of grade ourselves. Did we get better or, you know, did we work on the things we wanted to work on? And uh, that's kind of how we all get better together. Okay. It's all right. Pick up the line. Hey, so the ball that the, when the ball is coming, the, the first thing to pick up after we know it's heat is the line of the ball. Yeah. So our platform has to be in the line of the serve as fast as we can make it. If it goes default and then tries to catch up, it's like playing defense here on the long ball and having the ball outside of our body digging here and trying to catch up and that ball goes in the crowd. So we're early prep, good athletic prep, platform in the line as, we, as fast as we possibly can into the line, okay? Here we go. Jordan, you redshirt your first year here at Long Beach State before playing at Community College. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your journey. Growing up, playing high school volleyball and then going into club. I played for the Huntington Beach Volleyball Club um, 
and that's where I met Josh and uh, TJ. Funny story is like I actually played down a year, so I had a late birthday enough where I was actually the oldest on the team. Um, however, I was the shortest. <laughs> but Tyler Hildebrand, our old assistant coach here at Long Beach State, he actually uh, kind of saw me out, and he liked what he saw, and then he wanted me to play down with uh, Josh's team. So going up, going into like the 17s and 18s divisions, other coaches from colleges didn't know that they could approach me. Um, I remember Coach Allen came into one of our practices and then Josh told me the story where he kind of was like, hey, who's that kid over there? And he was like, oh, you don't know him? That's, that's Jordan Molina. You know, kind of joking. That's when Josh, TJ, they already uh, committed to Long Beach and I thought, we already are so successful with this team, I might as well try to follow these guys, you know? Since I graduated before them, me and Alan talked about it, about redshirting, so that way I could like, you know, save my eligibility to when they do arrive. He gave me the choice to go do a bounce back at Long Beach City College. And honestly, I took the opportunity because junior college level volleyball is not that far from Division I volleyball. I go over there to Long Beach City College and then we win a state championship. <laughs> As a libero, I got MVP for the, you know, the state tournament, which was great. And then coming back in, we had a great team that year, um, but didn't see the court again. When you finally got to see the floor and you're getting that playing time, um, what was the biggest lesson that you think helped prepare you for the time on the court? Even uh, that year that I didn't see the court when I came back, me and I guess would be Matt Butler, we worked very, very hard. Like, you know, we wanted to challenge Andrew Sato as best as we could because we knew during that time, if we can challenge him, he could get better, which would make our team better. And so we just worked so hard during that season and Falling short, you know, I guess that would be a, the lesson there before even seeing the court is you can work so hard and still fall short, but then going back to that locker room uh, back at Ohio State in the Final Four, um, it was probably one of the worst feelings that I've ever felt personally, you know, like, man, I worked so hard. I even see the court that much. I probably served two balls the whole, uh, the whole season, but I still felt like you know, I worked so hard, and I honestly said, you know what, I don't want to feel this way again, and I'm pretty sure everybody else in this locker room doesn't want to feel that way again. You have the Big West Conference coming up soon. What is the mindset heading into that portion of the season? So a big part of that, like, uh, it was kind of weird last year, because that it hardly ever happened where we kind of do a back-to-back -back game where it's mm -hmm. we play the same team one night and this exact same team the very next night. And so Alan kind of talks about it, is that it's halftime, now we have to see what we can do in the second half. Um, so, personally, I was pretty frustrated. When things aren't going our way, we can't get frustrated. You know, we can't expect other teams to make mistakes. We have to make things go our way if we really want it to. And we have to expect teams to come out fighting, especially late season like this. You know, teams are going to come out with everything they got. They have nothing to lose. I want to say it was a good thing, but obviously we want to win every match that we can. Um, so I'm not going to say losing is a good thing, um, but we did learn from it a little bit. And we want to really focus on what we're doing and uh, focus on us. The only thing that matters is what we're going to be doing.